let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. team that uh, basically is playing, you know, that has nothing to lose, and you're going to get their best effort, and uh, we got it from them, so hats off to them, but also hat, my hat goes off to the coaching staff and uh, these guys right here because they played, uh, they played very good football and put us in position uh, to allow us to win and make plays, so we'll celebrate another win, be thankful about it, very blessed with the opportunity because they don't happen like this, you know, this is, this is a special team. So we'll just we'll savor this for a moment, and then we'll get ready because we got another tough game next week. Questions first for Coach Long. Coach, um, 13 7 at the half, you guys pulled away in the second half. Was it adjustments or just matter being patient and letting the plays come? No, you know what happened? Uh, in the first half, we missed two interceptions. We dropped two two balls that would have shortened the field, and one probably could have gone, gone, gone to the uh, for a touchdown. So that's, that scenario, then you're maybe up two touchdowns or so, then everyone's not thinking that, you know, well, what's going on. So there was no yelling and screaming in the locker room. It was, you know, hey, look, the next time we get a chance to make a break on the ball, they throw it underneath or a, a block or a catch, then let's just execute it. And then that's what happened in the second half. Split on this route or whatever. So it, it was a mature team that, that could make the adjustments. And as I said, in the halftime uh, locker room, there was no yelling, there was no screaming. It was, uh, well, let's go. And we dropped two, two interceptions and had a fumble, you know, things like that. So uh, we're very much in the game, and, and uh, we play the way we're capable of playing, then we have a shot. So uh, I'm so proud of the effort of these guys in the second half. On well, your concern level from 1 to 10, where is the punting game, right? Well, it's not the punting game. It's the snapper. Uh, you know, young guy, he's a very, very good snapper. He's about as good as there is uh, out there. But he's got to he's got to learn some things that you know that he just can't run in the game and snap when it's tough when it's third down he's got to be up and you know staying loose and things like that so that's my fault uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen again and prior to third down that he's he's warmed up and he's 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 focusing on doing the things he needs to get done so uh, we got to address that uh, either with him or someone else that can get the ball back there. Eric, uh, you talked about that drive after down 14 13 thing all the way down to the score how important that was. And I mean, it was very important. Uh, coming out of half, and um, they stopped us on the first drive, and they came down and got points. And um, I think everybody, like like Coach Dunn said, we got a very, very veteran team. And I think um, everybody on the offense kind of knew that. I mean, that was a very important drive for us. I mean, they had a little bit, of, they had the momentum, and we, they were a scrappy bunch. And we knew they were going to fight the whole day. Um, so we knew that was going to be important for us to come back out and go back down and get points. <laughs> I saw him over there in the corner. Um, I kind of wanted to throw it a little earlier, but um, the guy behind me grabbed it onto my arm. And then, um, shoot, I just kind of tried to get it out there. I was like, I mean, it was a two point conversion. It was either I was going to miss him or I mean, he, was, he was going to catch it. So. <laughs> I have no idea. Of I, mean, I said no. Yeah, yeah. I said, I said no. Yeah, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Describe what the feeling is, what the sense is among you, I mean, no different from when we were up, I guess, seven nothing, or you know, whenever you're up. Uh, I don't think we ever feared that we were out of con or didn't have control of the game, and you know, we just put our heads down and said, "Let's get this done," and we did. So, you know, like I said, you know, it was no problem for us, and. I mean, I'm, I'm real proud of those guys, and I'm glad that we were able to get it done. I don't know. Some something about this offense or our line. I don't know what it is. Second half, it all of a sudden, just clicks, and it's like, all right. Now's the time to go, and I mean, you see what happens when you know we put our minds to it, and then you know plays a, you know really well as a unit. You know, it's really hard to stop an offense like that. So you know, I'm glad we got it done, and you know, 
thank goodness uh, we we did it uh, coming right out of halftime. I, you know, we got a bunch of good receivers out there who are who are trying to get the ball to. And uh, I mean, if I if I hadn't caught a touchdown, I'd have been fine with it. I caught plenty of touchdowns in my career. So, but uh, I am thankful for it. Uh, just a nice play to come out and uh, start start the game off, uh, open the score. And uh, I just want to thank Eric uh, for helping me out there. Hey, man, it looked like you knew where the ball was going. Did you know where the ball was going? Oh yeah. <laughs> Based on, uh, I knew the ball was going to come out quick, so just everything coach has been telling me in practice about sending on routes and based on the coverage, just playing quick. So I kind of read the play and made the play. Just because all their stuff was coming out quick? Right. Based on the coverage we had called, and I knew it would be a quick throw because of the pressure that the D line and the safety had coming. So. Anything else? Coach, talking about the two minutes opportunities on the interceptions in the first half. Uh, how important do you think it was that you came through on your opportunity and kind of really put the game away with that play? Oh, I think uh, it was a big play for the team. So it was uh, because the game was going back and forth, so it was a uh, big momentum boost for the team. What are you, John, playing Jeopardy or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Coach, Coach, what's the status of Nick Battle and Kevin Grayson? Uh, they, you know, uh, ankle ankle injuries. They could have they could have went back in the game, but uh, you know, just. At the time, I thought we were playing well enough that you know it wasn't something that we needed, and so we'll uh, we'll get we'll see how it is uh, tomorrow if I talk to the, to the trainers. Anything else? Can you just quickly, you know, that sequence where you got like 22 points in like two and a half minutes. I mean, that was a ball game right there. Can you just take us through that two and a half minutes? Well, it was a blur, so uh, you know, it's just one of those things that uh, uh, you know they they. Tremaine got interception coupled with, and they tried to, you know, they tried a, a fake, uh, fake punt. I don't know what yard line that was on, and you know that that was an issue. We we, we got the ball there, we scored, um, you know, got the ball and drove. So it's just one of those things that sometimes momentum swings back and forth. And we just happen to catch the momentum swinging in our our favor 